Father. Ethan, join me? Uh, no thanks. I have to stay awake during the ballet tonight. Oh, yes. The ballet isn't how. <laughs> Give Gwen my best. Actually, I'm not seeing her. I'm taking Pilar's daughter, Teresa. Gracious, Ethan, when in God's name would you take the housekeeper's daughter to the ballet? Oh, that's pretty snobbish, Father, even for you. Do I look like I give a damn about political correctness? <laughs> no, you don't. But to answer your question, I'm not taking Gwen because she's working. Mother insisted that one of us makes an appearance. Stop so... right there, son. I know why you're taking Teresa tonight. I was your age myself once. Excuse me? There's no need to cover with me, boy. I know all about sowing a few wild oats before settling down. It's good for the system. It's good for the marriage, too. Uh, Father, you've got two rules. The crane men must heed. Make sure there are no press snapping embarrassing photos and, needless to say, use protection. I have no... You don't want any little crane bastards knocking on the door down the road looking for a share of the family fortune. Hmm? I never once thought of Teresa that way. She's a nice girl and I respect her. The only reason she's going with me tonight is she's doing me a favor. Say what you like, son, but you and I both know the real reason you're going out with her. <sighs> <laughs> Teresa, you look great. Beautiful is a more apt description. Thank you, Mr. Crane. Well, I'm a firm believer that no matter who you are, where you come from, if you're a knockout, you're a knockout. And a gentleman should say so. Tough job escorting Teresa tonight, but someone has to do it, huh, son? All I know is I'm a lucky guy. I wasn't up for going to the ballet alone, so I appreciate Teresa accompanying me at the last minute. Oh, I'm the lucky one. I've always wanted to see a ballet. Don't tell me you've never been even once. No. You're in for a treat, Teresa. Cinderella is a good first-time ballet. Oh, I've always loved the story. <laughs> I can't wait to see it danced. <sighs> Just promise me you won't be causing any accidents. This is my favorite tux. I promise, Ethan. Shall we? Yes. Well, you make an enchanting couple. Have a wonderful evening. Don't do anything I wouldn't do, son. Don't forget we're having guests for dinner. Oh, yes, the Bennetts and the Russells. Where on earth did this sudden urge to mingle with the locals come from, I wonder? <laughs> Just for the record, Julian, they're hardly blue collar. Eve Russell is a physician and Sam Bennett is chief of police. Well, whatever class they are, they're not ours. What is this sudden interest in consorting with the locals? You've always avoided them like the plague. I'm just not the snob you are, Julian. Since when? You're up to something, darling. I want to know what it is. My, my, you haven't aroused my curiosity like this in quite some time, Ivy. Mm -hmm. Of course, you haven't aroused anything else of mine in years. Shut up, Julian. I look forward to discovering just why you felt the need to throw together this pathetic little soiree. Or well, maybe I was just being polite. I don't think so. If that were the case, you'd have canceled by now. I'll see you at dinner. Don't count on it. Why not? Ooh, now I'm curious, Julian. What are you afraid of? Lower yourself all you want to mingle with the common folk, my sweet. Just don't expect me to join you. <laughs> <laughs> 